of the touch screen. I was going to go through a couple of things which I thought were terrific. Now, I look at the seam as bowling to Warner today. Now, there's a couple of things just to point out here. One is that David Warner has got a very specific technique and the fact that he generally stays very much on that crease. You don't see him getting forward. If anything, he goes back and across. He's a wonderful player. We'll, we'll know that. What he also likes to do is hang a little bit this side if he can so that frees that offside up for him a little bit. So let's just have a look at these deliveries and importantly you're going to look at this sort of area. So it's obviously a plan that they've got bowling around the wicket to him. So let's just go through at the uh, deliveries as they work to him most of the time from a, uh, oh, sorry this is over the wicket for uh, Freedy. And this is Siri just uh, playing from the crease and behind. He's just staying leg side of the ball the whole time. And this is uh, Hassan Ali as well. So trying to tuck him up. That's what they're trying to do the whole time. Trying to tuck him up the best they possibly can. And then he gets that one, which just uh, beat him, I think. Maybe stayed a little bit low, not too much. But it was a very good delivery from the Freedy. And he knew at that stage that he was in a lot of trouble. The other one to look at is uh, Nassim Shah. Now, I thought he was just magnificent today. He's got some reverse swing. But importantly, I want you to have a look at these speeds, in particular, these first four deliveries with their speeds. Because that's uh, important because of the pace he was bowling. Verse swing importantly works when the bowling is quick and it, and it darts in nice and late. So this is uh, the reverse swing that is going, that one going away, the reverse swing from Nassim Shah, that one coming in at 144 k's per hour, that one going away at 141 k's per hour, that one also just going away a fraction. Then he drops under 140, but he's still going to go in nicely, which is good, so that's 139. And the last one is going away a fraction. So that's just outstanding stuff from uh, Nassim as well. And again, I'm just going to highlight the work of the graph. And uh, just to explain this properly, so this graph uh, the overs 1 to 10, and there's not too much there for the bowlers. That's overs 11 to 20. Suddenly they started working on the ball, so it started to go a little bit, not too much. And then suddenly from overs 30 plus, then it started to go, and it even went a little bit more a little bit after that also. So really good work from Pakistan the way they uh, worked at getting that reverse swing. So we learned something that I thought was really important today. We learned that uh, certainly a freedy, we know he can bowl reverse swing. We also learned that Nassim Shah importantly can bowl with a new ball right at the top, like he did in Ralph Pindi, you remember, when he roughed up maybe the Australian batsman uh, with a new ball when he opened the bowling, and I think he probably should have done that right at the start of the game today, but also it could reverse, ball, reverse swing the ball considerably when the ball got a little bit uh, uh, older and they worked on their ball and got it going. So it was really good stuff from him. The other thing I want to just point out is the straight lines to Smith. Now, again, I'm just going to highlight some previous deliveries and also the blue ball being the dismissive, uh, the dismissal. But this is the work that they were doing to Smith. And again, it's a little bit of a ploy. You can see they put some thought to this and how they're going to bowl to him. Just going to, again, try and tuck him up and bowl very much around middle and off all the time as best they can. Try and hope that he's going to play nice and square. And when he does get out, I'm actually just going to pause it there. Have a look at that. That's the big problem he has. When he does get out, he hits that bat right on the top of that pad. Now, what that does is it balloons the bat around the pad, if you like, so that it's not a clean plane onto the ball that he's trying to hit onto the, uh, in fact, it's still coming, the, the ball onto the uh, on side. So that was his big concern. And you'll see as I just play that, that he hits that pad and he has a little bit of a problem with that. I'm just going to show that one more time so you can just have a really good look. Here it is. Watch him hit the back pad. There it is. And it stops the connection. That's exactly what happened with that. So that's uh, how he got out. Again, stops the connection of the ball as he was looking to play that shot on the leg side like he was doing with all his other balls that were uh, bowled on towards the stumps and around about the middle off and maybe a little bit uh, towards the middle of the leg. So he went straight away. He knew he was in trouble, so he disappeared. So that's some really good work. Some key moments, I think, of the day. But I think Pakistan can sit back tonight in that change room and be really uh, happy with the way they went. They tried some different things, which is really important, but uh, overall I think they can be pleased with the fact, particularly the fact they lost the toss and had the ball today in really hot conditions. They picked up five wickets, and they've got the new ball again tomorrow morning. So that's going to be really important in the context of this whole test series tomorrow morning.